Hey, what's up? Yen here, and today I'm going to. It's, it's a quick video, and I'm just gonna share with you guys um, my measurements of this Flow Audio Blue Lover. It is a six balance armature, pure six balance armature IEM, uh, and uh, the retail price is 110 US dollars. This is a loan unit. And I specially loaned this unit to uh, do this measurement just for my good friend uh, Riku uh, from the Discord. Um, I'll leave his uh, Discord server down in the description below. In fact, uh, he was the one who helped me quite a bit uh, when I first started off uh, my audio journey. He gave me a lot of uh, tips and hints and uh, well, he got me into earbuds as well. So I've got a lot to thank him for and this is my way of thanking him so uh, he requested me to measure this uh, using my measuring rig at the same time compare the measurement with uh, a 10 ohm uh, adapter so I have a 10 ohm adapter here uh, and well see the difference so I'm just gonna measure this in the same measuring session and that will show you guys the difference okay so um, this is not a review, right? Uh, it's just a pure measurement uh, session. Uh, and I won't be reviewing this because uh, I will need to return this pretty quickly. Um, and I'll just have a short impression about it and that's it. So yeah, let's uh, begin. So let's um, first show you guys my setup, all right? So I've got my coupler, my um, sound card, my M15, uh, which is the output. Uh, and I've got the uh, Flow Audio Blue Lover here uh, with my cable and this impedance adapter. So this is 10 ohm impedance adapter. So the first thing I'm going to do is to measure this without the adapter, show you guys the graph and then I'm going to measure it again with the 10 ohms adapter and show you guys the difference. Okay, so uh, I've already calibrated this. So let's begin with the measurements. So I'm going to put the left side into the coupler and there you go. Now let's head over to the computer. So let's uh, first give it a um, name. This is the Flow Audio um, Blue Lover. Okay, so this is uh, without, this is just, well, I'm, I'm not going to see anything at this blue level, distant the original okay first check the levels the volume level okay it's 87 db which is fine so uh, let's begin and see how the left side looks okay all right, so this is the uh, left side. Now let's take the left side out from the coupler and I'm gonna put the right side into the coupler. Okay, all right. Now let's go back into the computer and let's measure the right side. Check the levels first. 86 dB, which is fine. Okay, let's begin. Okay, pretty good uh, channel matching is probably about 1 dB off for the uh, sub bass and the rest is pretty okay. So this is without the impedance adapter. So let's now t um, take this out and uh, unplug this from my um, M15 and then plug in the impedance adapter. Now let's plug it back into the dongle okay now let's go back to the left side okay so this is the left side and put it back into the coupler all right okay so um i've changed nothing i've just added the impedance adapter so let's go back to the computer and uh i'm just gonna call this um with imp okay or w i m p Oh, W, 10, oh, 10 ohms, 10, oh, well, just 10 ohms. Oh. 
Okay. Now uh, let's check the levels. That's 82 dB, so which is, well, it's expected with this impedance adapter, it's going to restrict the, you know, uh, sound coming out, the signal coming out from the, um, the dongle. Okay, so let's uh, see how it graphs. Okay. All right, so let's take the left side out from the um, coupler and now let's put the right side in. Okay. And let's go back to the computer. Now let's uh, measure again. Check the levels. And that's 82 dB as well. So let's begin. Alright, so as you can see, that well, it's almost the same in terms of the channel matching. So this is with the uh, 10 ohms. So I'm just going to label the rest of it, left and right, uh, including this one and this one. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, clean up this graph and normalize it. Uh, and also to you know uh, match it to at 85 dB and then I'll come back to you guys all right so uh, be right back all right guys so I'm back and I've tidied up this graph and what I did was um, I took the average of the left and the right of the original uh, blue lover and then um, I've also taken the average of the uh, blue lover uh, with the 10 ohms impedance adapter and this is the result and I um, well averaged it and normalized it at uh, 1000 uh, Hertz at uh, 85 dB and yeah so this is uh, what you get so basically there's a whole improvement uh, in, well increase of the sub base the whole tilt is a little bit off now and uh, the blue line right this line here okay or the green line yeah the green line is actually the original and the one with the 10 ohms is uh, the blue line okay so the overall I would say uh, base a uh, sub base and the base region and the lower mids uh, is well lowered and tilted tilted down uh, and the treble is tilted up a little bit the gain is also tilted up a bit uh, with a bit of a uh, bit more presence uh, and a bit more brilliance as well, a bit more air. Okay, uh, this part here. Uh, but yeah, so th in terms of the difference, what I see uh, is basically the the base region and the mids. Yeah, a big difference in terms of the mids as well. So yeah. Uh, well, I have not listened to this. This is just for science, all right. This is not for, um, you know, the to tell the difference in terms of sound. This is just to show you guys um, the difference in terms of, you know, the graph. All right. So uh, that's it. You know, this is uh, the measurements uh, and the difference uh, of the graph between the original um, graph uh, without the impedance and with the impedance uh, of 10 ohms right so that's the difference so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to listen to a few songs with this and uh, give you guys my live um, commentary of what i hear without the impedance and then with the impedance so i'll be right back all right so i'm back and i've taken out my ipad and this is the m15 and I've got the impedance adapter here uh, and I've got the uh, blue lever right here okay so I'm gonna listen to this song Makabe by Jane uh, this song is very catchy at the same time it's got quite a wide sound stage uh, and very good um, imaging or well sense of imaging of the instruments uh, and the vocals as well so it's 
a pretty good song to test with. So I'm going to put the uh, Blue Lover in my ear and I'm going to listen to this song without the impedance and then I'm going to listen to it with the impedance and then let you guys know uh, or share with you guys uh, what I hear in terms of the difference. Okay, so let's put this in my ear. Alright, so let's begin. Okay, so the listening volume is at about 50% and so far what I hear is that that's a lot of bass, very bassy I am. Uh, it's quite sparkly in terms of the higher end, the treble part. Okay, so this part here, the Uwi, is quite uh, bright, engaging as well. Instruments would sound a little bit recessed. It is uh, pretty V-shaped, uh, fun. The bass is very rumbly in terms of the sub bass and the mid bass is very thumpy as well very nice and engaging bass at the same time very engaging treble as well but the instruments uh, I, what i hear is a little bit recessed very nice sound stage uh, vocals uh, this is where the vocals comes in and they sound quite intimate but yeah it's, it's quite a closed in uh, sound stage and very clean very clear as well i find that the clarity of it even though the instruments and the vocals are recessed they sound very resolute okay so i've listened to half the song here now most of the chorus and the instruments have come in so i'm gonna pause the song and now i'm going to I'm not going to change anything. Um, I'm going to include this uh, 10 ohm adapter and then listen to this song again and let you guys know the difference. Let's go. This part here is some flute thing coming in and the bass comes in around this part uh, and the kick drum comes in at this part. I can feel that it's less impactful less rumble. It's, it's, be it's become more recessed. Now the treble sounds cleaner and ah okay so this uwi sounds more pronounced and it's, cl it's clearer it's more forward as well instruments they do sound forward a bit more forward uh, without the bass thumping and impeding into the mids but it's just but i find that the mids are also recessed it's, it's veiled it sounds even more veiled uh, as compared to without the impedance adapter and the female vocals they sound less energetic as compared to without the impedance adapter and what i hear is that the the entire um, tuning has been altered somehow the the overall sound stage becomes a bit a bit wider now it's not as intense as well that's Pretty much overall the difference that I hear uh, between the with and without the impedance adapter. Alright, so let's let's pause the song and let's conclude. So basically what I hear in terms of the difference uh, with and without the impedance adapter is just that uh, with the impedance adapter, this whole thing or this whole IM sounds a bit less energetic more it sounds smoother and it's got a, 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 a wider sound stage uh, and the overall bass and the mids tends to take a step back and becomes a bit more recessed uh, and then the treble shines so anything that has got the higher uh, octaves uh, they sound cleaner sound clearer it's got more air as well and without the impedance adapter the bass is very thumpy very uh, prominent the, the impact is really good the slam is really hard the mids are in terms of the vocals the instruments they are more forward they are more pronounced they 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 don't sound like they're being veiled or being you know pulled back uh, so if you ask me uh, when I listen to this, I would prefer to listen to this um, without the impedance adapter. Obviously, I did not make any change uh, to the volume, but uh, if I were to increase the volume, I would then get a bit more pronounced uh, presence of the bass and the treble will, it will become more intense. Okay, so 
that would become a little bit too much, a little bit too fatiguing for me. Uh, that's what I feel, right? But other than that, this is the difference between with and without the impedance adapter. So that's it for this video. Uh, Riku, this is for you. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you guys have a nice day ahead and I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.